Hello and welcome. And in this video, I wanted to uh, discuss a couple of things. Uh, for example, how well the 426.2 works on the M1 Max and uh, what to look out for. So as you can see, I can, oh, I mean, I already have opened the Unreal Project Browser. This is the Unreal Editor. Or is it 426.2 as you can see here? So I'm not making this up. And I've loaded up the content examples. Uh, double click this and let's see uh, hopefully it will load it pretty fast uh, previously I was loading it and was compiling like 7,000 shaders again now scale did not remember this this is <laughs> business as usual anyway so as we can see we have the content examples and if we go to the maps uh, we can actually load different maps and see how everything works. I was surprised uh, to see how well the parallax occlusion mapping was working. Uh, where is it? Parallax occlusion mapping. Here we go. Okay. Um, as you can see, well, everything works. It It is just fine. So if we go and see the, for example, post, whoops, post process. I think I failed to showcase the post processing, uh, like the screen space reflections work just fine. As you can see, we can um, tweak the quality, right? We can increase it so it kind of looks really good. Uh, increase the max roughness and yada, yada, yada. Business as usual, right? So the problem is that you can actually go and load up the Niagara Advanced. Here it is. And it will crash. Now, uh, the problem uh, well, that I was uh, talking about earlier is that I have never actually succeeded in loading up the Niagara Advanced level. So let's go out and try to do that right now. All right, so we double click the Niagara Advanced. Uh, we don't save the things. We don't need to save anything. And as you can see the results of what we were trying to do is the Unreal Engine editor is just, you know, it doesn't work. Uh, the Unreal Editor uh, will become unresponsive in uh, some time later. <laughs> but the thing is, nothing I click, nothing I, as you can see, I, I'm just mashing buttons, trying to do anything and everything, nothing works. So that is not great, <laughs> obviously. And uh, I think it doesn't quit the Unreal Engine Editor. Yeah, that, this is fun. Okay, so the force quit it. Um, as a matter of fact, it becomes uh, kind of like so bad that I have to restart my Mac every time I, I try to open up that level because everything starts to uh, work really, really bad. So there is that. I'll just stop the recording and actually reboot my Mac to continue the work on this video. Uh, give me a second. All right. I need to point out a couple of uh, a couple of things from the previous section of this video. I did succeed in loading that level, but it always crashed when it was finished uh, compiling the shaders. Now, here is a little bit of a surprise for us. Um, as you can see, I opened the Unreal ed uh, Unreal Editor 5.0 early access, and I loaded up the same project. And as you can see, I am right now flying through the parallax occlusion. Everything works pretty, pretty fine, pretty well. All is great. Now, let's see if the Niagara Advanced will load up. And the spoiler alert, I compiled the shaders and it works. I mean, don't look at me. I'm as surprised as you are. But look at this. Uh, the GPU simulations run you know, just fine. It's not fast, especially like here, it's like um, the frames per seconds are really low, but it works. Now, again, one thing to note, it warned me about the very fact that some kind of add-on that was needed for uh, 426 to load up this stuff. Uh, I presume it is now built in in the 5.0 or something, but it said it was, um, disabling it, but as we can both see, everything works. It's amazing. I am surprised. Apparently, and funnily enough, 
I say it's Unreal Engine 4, but we both know that we are Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> Funnily enough, the UE5 appears to be more stable than 426. Now, I want to address uh, one thing, one last thing, right? Like, uh, is the version 4 will be unstable? And the answer is, hopefully not. <laughs> right, so this is the Unreal Engine public roadmap for 427, which is supposed to launch in summer 2021. As you can see in the rendering, lightning and materials, if we click here, we can see Apple Silicon support for runtime beta. Now, they're adding the support for Apple Silicon platform as a target for runtime. And the editor and facilities will work as x8664 binaries translated via Rosetta 2. Which is not terrible because currently, as you can see, we're running the Unreal Editor. And it is, um, it says it's Intel. So basically... It already we are seeing the version 5 running as a being translated via Rosetta 2 so I don't think it's gonna be a huge problem so there you go again surprisingly enough for now the version 5 is more stable than the version 426.2 but I think it will change when the 427 drops and I expect actually expect the uh, first like early access or beta or um, open beta for 427. Man, that's a lot of fours. <laughs> anyway, for 427, um, I expect it to drop this month. And if we're talking about the June, that is, of course. And hopefully it will improve the stability, overall stability of the Unreal Engine 4. Because all of the, pretty much all of the learning materials for you out there and for me, of course, for everyone, for all of us, is pretty much exclusively for Unreal Engine 4, because Unreal Engine 5 literally just released this week, or last week, should I say. Anyway, there is that. When the 427 drops, um, obviously, I will record the video, and I will test if everything is working fine, or just uh, does it compute, does it like compile, does it quick, qu quit, crash, or anything like that, uh, because, you know, uh, pretty much I am myself uh, currently using primarily the M1 machine to, you know, work on some game development and visualization, all of that. So it is important for me as well as for you. So expect to see more so you don't have to suffer through the reboots, crashes and all of that. So yeah, uh, if you find this video useful, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you have questions or suggestions, just drop a comment below. I'm trying to read everything. And with that said, I hope you're having a nice day and see you in the next videos. Have a good one. Goodbye.